I was modelling when I was about 14 and I went to a casting and it was for a TV show called S Club TV and it was an ITV Sunday morning show and um, I, I was really bad, I was really bad and the show got cancelled and then for about two years I didn't do anything but then decided that that's what I wanted to do um, and so then I went and worked in production doing running and a bit of floor managing and stuff like that and so then got into TV that way. Well, see, I love a murder mystery. Murder mysteries are my favourite, so I kind of... That's why I was in Miss Marple. It was a birthday present from this morning to make a bit part in it, because I love all of that. Um, I love... And this is... This makes me feel like I need to go and have a wash when I say this, but I love The Bachelor. Love it. It's, like, genius. The Gavin Henson first series, this chat with the dude from... Um, Chelsea, whatever it is, which I don't watch, so I don't, I don't know who he is, but he's brilliant in this. So yeah, The, the Bachelor's my number one at the moment. I'm going to regret it with saying that out loud, but it is really good. I always find it really difficult not to laugh at something that I shouldn't do on this morning. It is really difficult sometimes, but most of the time when you're sat opposite somebody and it's kind of their story, then you, you find that you don't. I mean, you just can't. There was one lady, um, and I mainly blame Phil for this, uh, and it was the lady that had fallen in love with the Statue of Liberty. And if you watch that back, there's not that many close-up shots of me. Uh, it's mainly a wide shot of the guest, and that's because Phil, next to me, did this kind of <laughs> noise, and then once he did that, that was it. I was, I was gone. I was a goner. So that's the only time that I've done it. It's funny, because when I first started this morning, it was one of those things that I think everybody thought that I'd never be able to do. And they'd be like, oh, we should be right on the fashion item, but we should be able to interview the Prime Minister. And the first week I was there, the first thing I had to do was interview the Prime Minister. And I think the more you do of that sort of thing, the easier it becomes. Um, and actually, what I realised pretty early on is that you don't need to tailor your... the way you ask questions to the person as such. I sort of, because what you find is, th this morning is watched by people like me that quite often don't understand all the political language and all the stuff that they fluff about around the edges. So I quite like it now because I'm not scared to just ask him a question in my language um, because then I understand the answer and it makes more sense to me. Phil and I have worked together for a long time. I mean, we did seven years of Dancing on Ice together and then I'm about to start my third year of this morning, would you believe? So we've known each other a very long time. So obviously, like all friendships, you sort of meet each other and it takes a while for you to get really comfortable with one another. But surprisingly quickly, I think when you both have, when you're both made of the same stuff, uh, you find that that sort of happens quickly. And also we're both, we both kind of like to have a laugh and that helps. And he's a giggler, so that really helps. Um, we don't go on holiday together, but we, he, the last few years where we've been on holiday, he's also just happened to be there. Um, so if that happens, it's brilliant because we sort of meet up and spend a couple of evenings together or something like that, all the families together, which is lovely. I've never got in trouble for kind of mispronouncing something or getting something wrong because that would mean I'd be pretty much in trouble daily. Um, so no. I, I mean, obviously, I said shit once, but when I went to say shiitake mushroom and then stopped mid-phrase. Mid and so I was like, so if you know your shit, I'll key. And, but it was just too late to kind of cover that one. So, but I mean, things like that that are an accident. It's not like I just said shit on daytime TV. I just tried to say mushroom. The tequila that I brought with me, which makes me sound like a semi-alcoholic. This is an evening shoot, by the way. Um, this is, it's 100% agave tequila and it's, you can drink it and it's lovely, which is brilliant, uh, and you don't get hungover. And it's, I've tried and tested this method many a times and I can tell you, you don't. So, but obviously drink carefully. The shoot today was brilliant. I don't often do uh, shoots like this, uh, so it was really nice to do something different and obviously to work with Rankin um, and just kind of just the whole team really, his whole team and everyone with him. It was just a brilliant, brilliant day.